I'm just gonna let her be in her little attitude because she has an attitude. I mean, I can't say that I blame her, but don't take it out on us, really, because we've done, been nothing but helpful <laughs> with this. No, we haven't. We have not. We have ruined the world. We've destroyed it, basically. Honestly, this is more Dorian's fault than mine. Um, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Get him. He's been a Tory and on Draste's name is that. Hold on to it. I want to look at it later. I just picked up a red shard if you didn't catch that. Uh is that it? Nope. Oh that's it, that's it. No? Yes, no. No, no. That's the split. Holy moly! Oh gosh, spirit! And Dorian, get out the way! First, um, let's see. This is the this door. This is the way to the main hall. Alexius will likely be there. Okay, so that's the, the another door. So, and that's a door, and that's a door. And, okay, so we've got. Three doors out here, and then this door is the main door. Maker's breath. Where did Alexius find this? How did he even move it here? Can we open it? Perhaps. But it looks quite strong. Okay. How desperate and paranoid must he be? Pretty desperate. The servants must have a way through. He has to eat. Let's look around. Well, um... That's my plan. So let's go through this door and see what we can find. Uh. Oh, gosh. Uh, too late. I just ran right in. <laughs> there's no there's no taking anybody by surprise with me, okay? Keep us, uh, really shield it up. I probably should have tried to, uh, That's creepy. You can hear the Venatory chanting. Not right now, but... Oh, shoot. Beric! Oh. Beric! Oh, oh, my gosh. Dorian, what the freak? What's he getting hit by? Oh, that guy. Get him. I have nothing. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to just... Holy moly. One of your potions. Here. Doesn't look like the elder one is interested in saving his followers. 
No, he's... <laughs> Not what he's doing. Um... Anything up here? We are getting maimed out here. I'm hoping that another potion chest is around here somewhere, like, so we can refill. This way? Wait. This no, but this would Okay, that was, that was this way. There was a door right here. I think the potions Wasn't there a potion thing up here? I could have sworn there was a potion thing up here. Am I wrong? Oh, here, here it is. Everybody fill up. Why did I do that? Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go back. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I think that, um, I'm turned around, okay. Hold on, let me get my bearings. So this is our week, okay, yeah. So we went through, oh gosh, where did we go? We went through here, right? This is the door we went through, okay. So let's go across. I'm so turned around right now. Uh, let me just, okay. The main door is to my right. Let's just keep that in mind. And I have to make sure that I get all these. Oh, I don't need that right now. But I want to make sure that I notate that's where that is. Because I probably will get hit pretty hard here. Um, How much damage did Alexis' spell do? Rift tore apart all of Southern Thedas, starting here. But whether that's his doing or the breach, who can say? Maybe it's a combination of both. That's what I'm thinking. Um, ah. I'm kind of speechless at this point because of the amount of damage this acquired uh, schematics masterwork wave blade. Nice. Um the amount of damage that the breach has done. Open. Oh, 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 oh. Get ready. <laughs> so they just run in. Wow. First of all, Dorian, what are you doing? Okay, I guess we're done. We're done. Another, yeah. Oh, uh, Bash. That'd be you. Oh. Oh my gosh. Varric. This is why Varric is always dying. You don't need to be that close up to the mobs. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's another shard. We have three, two more. And I'm gonna, oh, of course, Belt of Sunder. Ooh. Inventory already full. I thought I could have sworn I cleared out my, my um, stash. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's read this. Studies in the Blight. Might as well read it. Introduction of the blight to prisoners yields no discernible pattern. Disease progresses erratically. Some subjects die within hours despite all efforts. Others show no symptoms at all. Subjects may harbor some natural resistance, which makes isolation and testing a priority. A latter entry follows. Six more subjects died. Transfusions of the blood from resistant prisoners slow the rate of corruption only slightly. 
healthy flesh taken from live subjects and implanted into the infected will often die even before the corruption spreads to it. In cases where implantation is successful, blight corruption spreads across the donor flesh faster than host flesh. Prisoner Leliana has been the most useful source of resistant blood and skin to date. Why? Why is her blood? So what he's doing is his son was bitten by a dark spawn. And in the lore, if you're bitten dark by dark spawn or any kind of zombie like creature, right, you eventually will turn into said creature. So um, Alexius is trying to keep his son Felix from dying. Uh, so he's doing whatever he can, experimenting to see uh, if he can save his son's life. And what he's doing, it sounds like, is using the ways of the um, Grey Wardens. Grey Wardens use Darkspawn blood and um, they are able to resist the effects of being bitten or scratched or anything by Darkspawn because they have the blood. Um, so he's trying transfusions and grafting and things like that and to no avail, really. Um, so there's the door. Uh, so we came through here. Let's just go this way and then work our way back. We're just walking in. No, we just walk right in. <laughs> Don't even whisper. We're in here. Everybody. Did everybody just, okay. Dorian, just in the door. Can we, can we? Okay. May Andraste have mercy on your souls. No one else will. Dorian, I know you have door in your name, but you are not one. So please, the next time we come into a room, can you please step out of the way? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we have four out of five. And this must have been the better way. <laughs> this was the better. Uh, okay. All right. Before I get thoroughly lost and confused. Oh, yes. Let's take this. Oh, well, whatever. Um, what's the point of looting? This must have been the door that we came through, or was supposed to come through. What's in here? I'll take this. Um, just in case, let's have Verica unlock this. But I think this was the door from the, the other side, the hallway. Um, okay, Varric's deciding to stand in the door too. Yeah, this was it. We came through this door. And yeah, so let's go back. And... Oh, shoot. Where was it? Out of the door. Was it through here? Yeah, this was it. Okay. What happened here? Venatory decorating at its finest. It's beautiful. They did a good job. Um, I see where they were going with death and destruction. And take out that enchanter quickly. Block them from coming up the stairs. Get the enchanter. Block them from coming up the stairs. I don't know how we're gonna do that. And Varric once again is in melee range. As am I. <laughs> As am I. Please tell me everything. Ah! Uh, this sucks. I want to loot everything and my bags are forever full. Anything over here? So, uh, something down here. Ooh, enhanced drain life ring? Okay, Dorian. 
Let's let's give you that ring. Um, what am I doing? So, Dorian, where are you, buddy? Let's do this armor. Um, is there a helm that you could use? We'll give you this. And then we'll take the... This. Give you... Why do I keep doing that? Really? Um, let's give you this. Static cage. Ooh, yeah. Wait a minute. He has this. Um, winter's grass. Advanced life dream. Well, maybe we can give this to somebody else. Give it to me. Enhanced life dream. Yeah. Belts. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is cool. This is cool. All right. Let's loot. Sigil of great... Oh, you know, we don't need that. We don't need that. The, the debuff alone. Look, 10% cold damage plus to 10 plus 10% 10 cold damage, negative 50% all other damage. Yeah, no, it's not even worth it. Leave it here. Okay. Um, apparently it's up here. Oh, it's up here. Did we leave this guy? Okay, that's the one that it's this body here. Or what is this body? Okay, we're Let's good. Let's head back to the main hall. I think I know how we'll open that door. I do too. I think we're all thinking the same thing. What do you think? Um, what's over here? So let's re-up. Everybody drink up. Okay. Back in the main room. Yep. Okay. Let me save really quick. <laughs> it's about to go down. How could you do this? I hope I... She's mad. You'll pay for this. Alexius, it's time to answer for your crimes. Yeah, she's mad. And here you are. Look at Felix. Finally. <gasps> I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. Hmm. Okay. Um. The end. What do you mean? What's ending? <laughs> the irony that you should appear now of all the possibilities. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, and what have I wrought? Ruin and death, there is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Give him a merciful death. Release him, Liliana? Yeah. Liliana, let Felix go. He's innocent. No one is innocent. Liliana! Oh my gosh. No! No! Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was that? Kill him. Is he resistant? Okay, hold on. Is he resistant to... No, he's not. No, he is. 
immunity to all disabling f effects, and he's perceptive. Okay, so anything that we have, what about this? Nope. He Where are your assassins this time? And he's opening up breaches. Okay. Or portals, or rifts. <laughs> Whatever that is. Oh my gosh. Get him. Listen. Close the rift. Get him. Shield you guys up. Just DPS them down. Is that Cassandra? Okay, just gonna make sure Varric's not up here. And Varric, of course. Varric, get out the way. Me too. <laughs> drink. Me. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Wait. He wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. Oh, Alexius. We can still help him. This Alexius was too far gone, but the Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with. I suppose that's true. This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! to hurry. This is bad. Um. We'll hold the main door. Once they break through, it's all you, Nightingale. I mean, I won't let you die. They... Isn't there another way? They're gonna sacrifice themselves. I can't let you kill yourself for me. There must be another way. Look at us. We're already dead. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. Though darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Jeez. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! <laughs> Wow. You'll have to do better than that.
Um, you must surrender. You're done here. You must surrender. Put aside all claim to Redcliffe and we let you live. No, that's not what I meant. You won. There is no point extending this charade. I mean... Elix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. That's true. His son, who's dying, has a higher moral code than his father. But, I mean, what parent would do? Well, I'm glad that's over with. Not. Right. Grand Enchanter. Imagine how surprised I was to learn you'd given Redcliffe Castle away to its Avinter Magister. King Alistair. Especially since I'm fairly sure Redcliffe belongs to Arl Tegan. Your Majesty, we never intended. I know what you intended. I wanted to help you. But you've made it impossible. You and your followers are no longer welcome in Ferelden. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? We still need mages. We could offer you protection. We, we do still need mages. I mean, I don't know how much protection we could offer, but it'd be better than where they were at. So, but we still need mages. I should point out that we did come here for mages to close the breach. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I know you are a mage, but consider how these rebels have acted. They must be conscripted, not coddled. I've known a lot of mages. They can be loyal friends if you let them. Friends who make bad decisions, but still loyal. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. Cassandra's not going to like my decision. I'm not going to make them prisoners. They were just basically prisoners of the Deventer. And honestly, the way things went with Alexius going back in time, I don't think this is really their fault. Even though I kind of do put the fault on Grand Enchanter, I don't put the fault on the entire group of mages. I think that's just... I think that's... Cassandra making these um, sweeping generalizations because they're mages, be stereotypical um, mages out of control of their magic. And I mean, anyways, um, you're our allies. I'm not going to make them prisoners. Cassandra's not going to like this, but whatever. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. I we'll mean, discuss this later. Oh, she's mad. I'll pray that the rest <laughs> of the Inquisition honors your promise then. The breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to Ooh. be divided now. We can't hurt. fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. I'd take that offer if I were you. One way or another, you're leaving my kingdom. Oh, gosh. We accept. It would be madness not to. Remember the gather look my people on her face. And ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. You will not regret giving us this chance. So, my thoughts on King Alistair kicking them out of the kingdom. I mean, I get it because the simple fact is they sided with the Deventer. Deventer has always been a threat to Ferelden and other countries, surrounding areas. So, them siding with Deventer, and it was said earlier, you're basically putting yourself um, in a position to say that you declared war against the rest of the other countries, the other allies. Um, and you put your people in harm's way by the decision you made, Grand Enchanter. Um, 
And so Alistair came in and said, listen, you got to go, you know. Um, and I guess if they had went to him first, um, he did say, I tried to help or I wanted to help you. His hands are tied. And even if he wanted to keep them there, his hands are tied. The people in his kingdom would not have it. Uh, look at the destruction they caused. Um, yeah, so I don't know. They, he, Al, the... The Arl was removed from his seat, and the people in Redcliffe were up at arms about what was going on. They didn't know what was going on. And then look at the future. Look what the future held, even though Alistair knew nothing about it, and the people in Redcliffe knew nothing about it. The people in Ferelden knew nothing about it, except for us, right? So I get it. It's not a matter for debate. There oh. will be abominations among the mages, and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, a tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. Oh gosh, he's mad at me. Um, I like it when you're angry. Um, they deserve freedom. I lied to them. Consider this their probation. We need their cooperation. We just do. We need them to close the breach. It's not going to work if we make enemies of them. I know we need them for the breach, but they could do as much damage as the demons themselves. You were there, Seeker. Why didn't you intervene? While I may not completely agree with the decision, I support it. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. Here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. So, yeah, the mission was to either get the mages or the Templars to help us close the breach. There's no way the mages are going to help us if we imprison them again. And I... Yeah, they could be a danger. There could be um, some blood magic going on and some somebody ends up dead. A few people end up dead. That's the risk we have to take. Um, I'd rather deal with the mages, I think, than in fighting with the Templars and Templars running amok and killing mages that happen to be hanging around. So I don't know. I mean, the decision is made. So there it is. Um, the sooner, the better. The longer the breach is open, the more damage it does. We should head there as soon as possible. Agreed. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. He's not mad with us any longer. I'll be honored. Or, no, there goes my nap. I like that. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap. Maybe go for a walk. What is it they say? No rest for the wicked. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying? Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. I'm glad you're staying. Yeah. Yeah. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. Okay. So, that being said, um, I feel like maybe we should go talk to some people, but I kind of want to go ahead and get this breach closed. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. Okay. All right, so, um... I think what we'll do 
is on the next episode, I, I guess what I want to do is just talk to people. So maybe not head to close a breach right away. I have been recording for quite a while now, um, about 90 minutes. So I think that's probably best in here. So the next episode <laughs> might be 16, 17. Um, I will go ahead and talk to the companions, get caught up with them, um, maybe do a little bit of house cleaning around Haven, um, see if we can catch up with a few things. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And we can head to close the breach, go from there. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another two episodes of Dragon Age Inquisition. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you don't mind, if you are watching and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I don't usually ask that, but um, it does help out the channel and it would be nice to know there's other people watching and enjoying the content. Um, also, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.